Hi guys, very good morning, very good afternoon, very good evening, everyone. I hope that all of you guys are doing well, and I hope that all of you guys are doing great. Let's just kick off the session. Before we start, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Deepak. My full name is uh, Deepak Sharma. I'm one of the lead instructor for this course. Now, talking about today's agenda, guys. Today we will talk about why Power BI. What is Power BI? Introduction to Python. How to use Python script to import data. How to use Python script to create visualization. Now, talking about uh, you know why Power BI. Uh, before we talk about you know what exactly is Power BI, let's just talk about you know, I mean, uh, why Power BI? I mean, why we need it? What is the importance of having it? You know, uh, in other words, why Power BI? Now, Power BI has certain advantages, guys, like a machine learning. I mean, where you can automate the uh, stuff. I mean, you can have your own algorithms uh, that you can integrate with the existing platform and you can, you know, perform an automation. Next is the mobility. If you want to move the device from one place to another, you know, all such kind of stuff, you can perform the mobility as well. Next is advanced analytics. Like if you want to have advanced analytics, you know, advanced uh, diagrams and all, it's going to be possible. Next is Cortana integration, wherein uh, you want to have a kind of a chatbot stuff, you know, that something can be created as well. Plus it has a lower upfront cost. So it's not like that you have to pay a lot of money, uh, you know, I mean, uh, creating building. It has a very extreme lower upfront cost. At the same time, there are very, uh, you know, various APIs which are being available for integration with the help of which you can automate and integrate the stuff. Plus, the customization is easy and it's more of a user friendly. Talking about what is Power BI. Power BI is a free intelligence cloud service given by Microsoft, which actually provides, you know, non-technical business users various tools for aggregating where you can combine data from various sources in different formats and you can have a customized data. Second, analyzing. If you want to analyze data from various sources, various formats, you can do it very easily. Third is visual, uh, visualizing, where you want to have a visualization of a data available for you. You can do that and sharing data. Like if you want to share the data within the sub nodes, you will be able to do it. Now, having said that, talking about Python, guys, you know, what is a Python? Um, Python is a general purpose, high level interpreted language. Uh, the good thing is that it has a very easy uh, syntax. Plus, it's based on OOPS. OOPS is object-oriented programming um, language where uh, you are going to, you know, inherit or you are going to adapt the concepts from the real world, like inheritance, encapsulation, data hiding, all such kind of stuff. Um, the name why uh, we have given the name as Python because it was inspired by his favorite show, which is Flying Servers. Uh, you know, which uh, the creator was Monty Python. Wherein, uh, if we talk about some of the different features of Python, it's simple. It's extremely simple. The Python is designed such that you can think more of a code and less of the syntax. Uh, second is open source. Being an open source is awesome, which means that Python is free for everyone to use. Third is portability. Python code can be written in one computer and you can execute in another one without making any kind of a hassle, which is going to make the code sharing easier. The next is embeddable and extensible. So Python allow code of other languages such as C, C++ to be embedded into it. So that certain functions can be performed, which is going to make Python even more powerful. Next is interpreted. The tasks of CPU and memory management are handled by Python itself. Next is a huge libraries. Python has a huge set of libraries like Matplotlib, Kitlearn, NumPy, which will help you to solve the problem very easier. Next is OOP, you know, which is object oriented orientation, which is going to help you to break down the complex problems of the world into code and which is going to help you to provide security into it to have better solutions. Talking about some of the prerequisite guys, in order to run Python script in Power BI desktop, you need to install Python on the local machine. Now, the Power BI Python integration requires installation of two packages, which is Pandas and Matplotlib. Having said that, if you want to use a Python script to import data, I mean, uh, it, it's going to be easier for you. I mean, you just have to you know, download the package and you will be able to use it at the sake of ease. Now, talking about structured learning at Eureka, guys, if you're highly interested to learn everything end to end in detail, because in the webinar, we pick up a topic and then we dive in more detail. However, if you have that core interest that you want to learn each and everything end to end in detail, then in that case, you can join the course and take advantage of it. Now, in, in terms of structured learning, guys, you are going to start with uh, Power BI. You know, I mean, you are going to learn about what exactly is Power BI, different core, core components on it with a practical hands on. Um, uh, then after that, in second class, you're going to learn about uh, Power BI desktop and data transformation with a practical hands on. In the third class, you're going to learn about data analytics uh, and expressions with a practical hands on. In the fourth class, you're going to learn about data visualization with the hands-on. In the fifth class, you're going to learn about introduction to Power BI service, q and in quick insights with the practical hands-on. In the sixth class, uh, we will learn about connectivity modes with the practical hands-on. In the seventh class, we're going to learn about Power BI report servers with the hands-on. In the eighth class, you're going to learn about using R in Python and Power BI with the hands-on. In the ninth class, you're going to learn about advanced analytics in Power BI with the hands-on. In the last class, you're going to learn about in-class projects where you're going to be assigned a project 
and you are going to perform a hands on it with a practical hands on. Now, if you want to use a Python script to create visualization, guys, I mean, uh, one of the biggest uh, problem that you're going to have is that uh, you should have the core programming knowledge. That's something you're going to learn in the course end to end. Now, if we talk about certain drawbacks, uh, the, the biggest drawbacks uh, of, uh, you know, Python Power BI Visual is the data size limitation. I mean, there is a limit on the data size that you can have a data of that limited size only. Next is resolution. I mean, you cannot have that advanced resolution. Next is calculation time limitation. I mean, in order to calculate the time, that is a major limitation you have. Uh, next is a relationship, like where you are going to have, you know, I mean, compact data, plus there is no cross highlighting, which is going to be available and the limitation. Thank you, everyone, guys. Thank you so much for joining the session. Wishing all of you a great day ahead. Bye-bye. Take care.